So I want to show three different variations of how you finish a takedown from what we call wrestling the hole. It's like the gap in between a guy's legs. And I'm going to show it from the first position. I'm going to show it from my underhook. Number two, I'm going to show it from when he has an underhook on me. Number three, I'm going to show it when he has a two-on-one on, on me. So the first one, <clears throat> when I have an underhook on my arm right here, typically what happens if I try to go throw this by and he wizards me, it's really common a guy to wizard you here and it happens a lot on the edge. And he's gonna start to pull my face down, pull my face down. I don't want him to pull my face down. So I have to fight head up, back straight, keep my hips in. You can use this free arm like a kickstand so he can't pull you down to keep my good position right here. But the way you finish this, <clears throat> I'm gonna kinda change angles so you can see it. <clears throat> but the way you finish this right here is I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna punch it over the top of his head like I'm throwing a punch, punch, and I create that space. So punch or create that space. Then I'm gonna get my inside butt cheek down to the mat. Right here as much as I can, set back. Again, this kickstand hand keeps me balanced. And I'm gonna grab this ankle, this shin of his, and I'm gonna pull it up, pull it up on my quad. It's called tabling the leg. Once I table this here, he's gonna wanna keep pulling me forward. I've gotta fight against that with my inside butt cheek. Once I have the leg tabled, then I wanna start getting elevation, 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 elevation. Once I get this elevation, I can climb it like a rope to finish my takedown. The second one that I'm gonna work on today is when he has an underhook on me. So he has an underhook on me, he's pushing on me, he's pushing on me. I can use his pressure to step behind, step in the hole, he's pressuring me. I'm gonna step behind, slap the mat to put his weight forward. And from here, he'll keep trying to wrestle into me, but again, I wanna get my inside butt cheek down, head up, back straight. Again, freehand could be like a kickstand to keep my position. As he wrestles me here, this free hand's a kickstand, goes back to the ankle, table the leg right here. Once I have the leg tabled, again, I don't wanna go forward, I wanna get height. Get up, and maybe a little back, height, 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 height. Then I can finish the single leg all the way through. The third one I'm gonna do today is finish in the hole when the guy has a two-on-one -on, -one on me. So if Marl has a two-on-one -on, on me, he's pushing on me, he's creating this pressure. What I'm gonna do from right here, as he pushes on me, I'm gonna step, again, in the hole in the gap. I'm gonna step in right here, get behind him, get my butt cheek down, inside butt cheek down. Same thing, head up, back straight. Grab this ankle, pull it up on my quad, table the leg right here, and again, instead of going forward, up and back, finish. Again, like pulling a rope right here. Pull this into me, all the way down to finish my takedown. 